What's up guys and welcome to Work Wednesday. I'm excited for today because I'm gonna talk about taxes. Oh no, just kidding. Uh, what kind of? I'm gonna talk about some things that might change in the future and some things that you might not have known being an independent contractor. And because this particular day is more about work business, uh, I wanna make sure that I offer some of that stuff to you guys. So this is how it works. Before we get started on this, because we're talking about tax today, if you could just tax the like button until it turns blue, that would be great. It needs to be taxed. We're all taxed. It's a horrible thing. We should also tax the like button so that it feels like it's part of our whole community. All right? Thank you. So let's start off by talking about what an independent contractor is. When you're an independent contractor, you are your own business. You're a sole proprietor. You are uh, the business of you, meaning that someone writes a check to you and then you provide the service for them. And those things are seen by the government as two different things. There's the company that the person's writing the check to, and then you, the person who's doing the work. So how this works is you get taxed twice. But ironically enough, you're getting taxed twice anyway. Well, someone's getting taxed twice. When you're working for someone else, that business is getting taxed for having you as an employee, and it gets taxed 7.65%, and you pay 7.65%, adding up to the total of 15.3% of Social Security and Medicare tax. So when you are a sole proprietor or you have your own company, you pay all of it because you are the business who takes the money and the person who does the job. And they still want their same amount of money. This is an unfortunate part of life that just has to exist. So charge more if you need to, but live with it because you're an artist and you're going to keep doing what you love. Now be excited because the social security part of it is only taxable up to an income of $142,800. So if you make more than that, they're not taxing you that 12.4% of social security tax anymore until you make over 400,000 with the new tax reform. But if you're making that much, it's not going to really matter anyway. Anyway, that's the tax part of this, and hopefully that made sense. You basically have employer pays this, you pay that. If you are a sole proprietor, you are both, so you pay both. That's how taxes work as an independent contractor, which is what we are as artists. Now, how to get out of the business side of it. You can write off half of that tax because it is a business. So if you want, because you're an artist, everything is part of your art, meaning this camera right here, even though I'm a musician, it's part of my art. It's what I need to survive. I need these lights. I need this microphone. I need coffee in the morning. Mm, that's a gray area. But maybe that makes me more, I don't know, artsy. Maybe I do need it. That's a real gray area. I'm not suggesting, because I am not a CPA, so please take this as just experience advice, not actual legal advice. Coffee might not be something you can write off. But going out to coffee with someone, you can write off 50% generally. So, hey, there you go. But I wanna quickly talk about a couple things that I think people have missed. And that is, generally, when you're fresh out of college, you wanna write off everything because you want as much, to keep as much of that money as you possibly can, and I get it. If you're thinking about buying a home, that is a bad idea because if it looks like you don't make any money so that you don't have to pay any money, it also looks like you can't afford to buy a home. So if you're thinking about buying a home in the near future, Two things you need to make sure you do. One, don't claim everything as an expense. Maybe spread it out over a couple of years because you can do depreciation over your over seven years of buying something. So you can do it that way and it won't hit you all at once. Two, make sure you have a credit card. I don't know how many friends I have that are like, well, I don't want to get in debt. Credit is bad. And then they go try and buy a house and they're like, you have zero credit. We don't want to approve you for a loan. Get a credit card. Get several credit cards. Don't use them all the time. Use them and then pay them off. Use their benefits. But do not not have a credit card. You need credit. Trust me. Anyway, I'm done with that rant. One last thing. There's a cool thing for you one first time buyers. And I know this doesn't seem like a, a music thing, but this is important because a lot of musicians that I know right now are about to be first time buyers of a home. They are imposing to possibly give a $15,000 home buying credit to first-time buyers. So 
uh, that's something that might change in the near future. Keep your eyes open for that. I don't know much about it, and I'm not a first-time buyer, so it doesn't affect me at all. But I thought it might be useful for you guys to know. I think you should also take into note that this $15,000 first-time buyer tax credit also counts as a down payment if you don't make enough to write off $15,000 as a tax credit. So that's kind of cool. So that's it for Work Wednesday, folks. Hopefully it wasn't too insanely boring for you. Give me a chance. Hit the subscribe button if you've got, made it this far uh, and give me a chance to make it up to you. I know that uh, taxes are kind of lame to talk about, but it's something that I think musicians and artists in general, whether you're a painter, a photographer, a musician, whatever, taxes are important to understand because they can help you and also hurt you. So until next time, if you like this and you would like more information on this kind of stuff, I'm happy to talk about it. Leave some comments down below. I'm happy to do more videos about the finances behind uh, running your own business or running yourself as a business. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for Theory Thursday, where we talk about something I have not thought of yet.